This is April 13th, and this is the sixth lesson. lesson. <laughs> and, okay, so here I'll pass the camera over to you again. Okay, so what we did today, we, we talked about the Bible verses, um, Luke 10, 27, Mark 12, 30, Matthew 22, 37, and Deuteronomy 6, 5. We looked at Deuteronomy 6, 5 in the Greek Septuagint, which is another way of saying the Old Testament written in Greek. And we just compared how um, in Greek it says heart, soul, and strength. Um, but in the New Testament, when it, when it quotes it, sometimes it'll say heart, soul, and strength, and mind, or it'll say heart, soul, mind, and strength, or just sometimes it'll just say heart, soul, and strength. Um, so we, we just compared the text to each other and the importance of why it's important to learn the Greek um, even if you're reading the Old Testament, um, even though it was originally written in Hebrew. Sorry, my brain's a little bit tired also. Okay, so, and then the website we went to is academic-bible.com. And see if you could find the, the app for this, or if you could download an app for that. Um, what's cool about that is you already have the New Testament in there, in Greek. You have the... Tanakh, the Old Testament in Hebrew, it's probably in there. And you also have the Old Testament in Hebrew in there. So you already have all those Bibles at your fingertips, which is absolutely amazing. Because I paid about $50, $75 for each one of my books. So you're already saving like about $200, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, we did that. Um, we did the... The Greek alphabet and alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, theta, iota, kappa, lambda, mu, nu, c, omicron, p, rho, sigma, tau, epsilon, phi, he, psi, omega. And the pronunciations are on the back of this. Then we wrote down all the names of a virtuous family in, in with Greek letters. So Rachel was, was this where's yours? This isn't my this is my handwriting two years ago. Sitting on it. Okay. So, we did, where did yours go? Is it in the back of this? There it is. Okay. So, Rachel, R-A, the C-H is one letter, it's a ch and or he. It's a, the letter is he, the sound is ch. So it'd actually be pronounced Rachel, just like we did with Hebrew, right? Rachel. So R A C H E L, Rho, Alpha, He, Epsilon. Let me just make sure that's correct. Yes, Epsilon, and that's a lambda. So Rho, Alpha, He, Epsilon, Lambda. R A C H E L, Rachel. Then we did Rachel's father's name, Chris, which is derived from Christos, which means Christ, um, from Jesus Christ. So the He, capital He, which looks like a big X, Rho, which looks like a P, I, which it's called Iota in Greek, Sigma, Tau, T, that's a, I think it's called Omicron. Yes, Omicron. And that's a sigma. So both are sigmas, just written different ways. And then we did Alicia. So Alpha, Lambda, 
Upsilon, which in modern Greek that U is pronounced like a Y, so it would be A L Y and S, which is a sigma, and then alpha. There's uh, there's no a sh sound, at least that I've come across in Greek. So it's just Alisa. Sorry, Alicia. And then Prince. We just spell this out phonetically. So P, like uh, the pi, R, I, and S. P, Rho, Iota, Nu, which looks like a V, and a Sigma. So Prince, and then we've got Nathan. Uh, nu, Alpha, TH, which is a Theta, Alpha, Nu. We went over the song really quick over here. Um, the old song, Let Your Mercy Rain On Us. And then we wrote it out with musical notation. So Rachel learned the treble clef, how to write the treble clef, and how it's called the G clef also because it starts on the line G. Uh, we've learned, so it starts on G and it goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And this, we just start from G and we worked our way backwards. G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. These yellow ones are, um, are the open strings on the violin. G, D, A, E. We wrote those notes out here. And then we wrote out the chords, just putting the notes around top of each other. The D chord, G chord, and A chord, and we learned it on the piano also. So that concludes Rachel's longest lesson ever. <laughs> And Rachel, you're a trooper, and good job today, and um, I think that's good.